time on Races to Places, Basil Bike was treated to a new chain and front sprocket. After taking in the beautiful scenery of the Jasper National Park, it's time to head toward Montana. Some lovely lodges. I bet it's beautiful in the winter here, in the ski season. Explaining some of Alberta's history, this sign tells us about the Frank Slide, which occurred over the town Frank on April the 29th, 1903. Roughly 90 million tonnes of limestone smashed its way down Turtle Mountain, obliterating the town and killing between 70 and 90 people. Being a mining town, mining could well have affected the mountain's internal structure, causing the massive landslide. I was just uh, riding down the road, uh, my last day in Canada today, and I was just riding through a small place called Frank, and at the side of the road, I saw these huge, huge boulders of limestone. So I was a little bit gobsmacked, so I went to find out a little bit more, and it turns out that in 1903, a huge piece of rock from the mountain behind the camera now, a kilometer wide, 425 meters long, and 150 deep, basically broke away from the mountain and came crashing down and it just took the whole town away. I believe about 70 people were killed out of a town of 600. Absolutely bonkers when you look how far away the mountain is to see how far these boulders rolled and broke up as it came down. Welcome back to the USA folks. We're in Montana. view from this highway is mind-blowing. There's no way to get Basil over there easily. Not without ending up down there. So, I think we need to get him turned around. Now that's not gonna be easy, because look where he is. Which is gonna be easier said than done. One thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Turning round on a narrow ledge. Oh man! I love it when you just get track log sent to you. You've no idea how hard they are. You just want to go and ride them. <laughs> Continental Divide in uh, Montana. Just thought I'd share a little bit of it with you.
Brendan and Basil are currently riding on part of the Continental Divide Trail, which stretches between Canada and Mexico, running along the Rocky Mountains, and it traverses five US states. Basil's going to be a happy chap today. It looks like it's wash and service time. Power washer, tools, workshop, all the ingredients Linda needs to get the job done smoothly. The start date for Dakar 2017 is getting closer and closer. So Lyndon's prep is well underway. Today's job is printing a training roadbook. Nice of the people at this homestay to lend Lyndon the Evo to nip to the post office. With the sound of a bike engine approaching, that must mean Lyndon's visitor has arrived. Introducing Eddie Meek. You're here. I'm here, mate. I made it. Dude, take your helmet off. It's like properly hot. <laughs> Two days of highway riding. I should have brought a Harley. <laughs> I bet you passed a few on the road. I did pass a few Harleys, a few road trains. So you shipped your bike into Seattle and you've just ridden over from Seattle. Yeah, so are you ready? Days. Are you ready to do some off-road? I'm ready for the off-road. Tomorrow we're gonna hit it hard. I hope you're ready for it. So we are another beautiful house that I managed to stay at on my trip and uh, managed to encourage these two likely lads to come for a ride with me. Got Barton here on his Husseberg and Eddie's joined us from the UK. So let's go boys. Eddie and Lyndon will now make their way south using part of the Continental Divide Trail. Really awesome trail today now. Great fun. Eddie, what are you drinking? Red Bull, mate. It's going to give me wings. You'll be taking off next. Hopefully, mate. I need to, <laughs> to keep up with you. Dragged Barton out, he let me stay at his house in Bozeman. Really nice guy. And he'd not been on a bike for two years since he rode back to North America from South America. I think he's had a really, really good day. So he's just about to come. And we're going to ask him, uh, ask him what sort of a day he's had.
Martin, what do you have to say about today? It's fast and loose. <laughs> you have a good day? I have a fantastic day. I think I might quit my job. <laughs> it's not the first time you've done that. No, not the first. I wonder if Eddie's bike will get a name. Bike naming seems to be the done thing on Races to Places. So here we are, we're just in the south of Yellowstone National Park and just having a great day really, riding along, thinking about how good it's been today on the road and thinking how much it would suck to go back to work tomorrow morning. Barton, what do you think? Would it, would it suck to go back to work tomorrow morning? I think I should quit my job, mate. I think we should eat a bunch of schnitzels and quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great idea. hot tubs. Or, if you want to be more technical, these are geothermal geysers, of which Yellowstone has many, each with their own name, such as Black Growler or Catfish Geyser. So, just having a wander around the paint pots. So you'll see some different coloured uh, pots with all bubbles coming up through the ground, it's pretty nice. Yeah, been a good day though in Yellowstone. It's been great mate. You'll all remember the cartoon Yogi Bear. Well, he used to prowl around the fictional Jellystone Park, a spin-off of Yellowstone, hunting for tourists' picnic hampers where he could snaffle out a few goodies. Let's hope Eddie and Lyndon don't leave their hampers lying around. Eddie, I'll give you my camera for two minutes and look what you start filming. Yeah. Sounds like Eddie has a keen eye for the scenery around here. So here we are in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming and it's like, it's absolutely gorgeous. We're just drawing to a close on our way out of the park now uh, and we just came to this. This is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone and it's just breathtaking, it's absolutely awesome. We had a really great day exploring and really looking forward to a good day on the bikes now tomorrow on the Continental Divide. time on Races to Places, it's more of the Continental Divide. <laughs>